In this box is the iScooter i9 Max. We've tried the i9 before, but not the i9 Max. Let's get it open. Two amp charger, not an English plug. English plug, tool, screws, instruction manual. Ow! God! Yes! Why can't I just freaking line up for once? The Ice Scooter i9 Max. Let's take a closer look. So it's got a bell, one brake, a disc brake on the rear. 500 watt motor power, rear disc brake, 14.6 kilograms, 10 amp hour battery. Oh, double click for the lights. Nice strip of LEDs at the front. Let's look at those honeycomb tyres, up to be probably about 10 inches. When, in my experience, on rough ground they are quite bumpy, but on smooth ground they're like perfect. We've got suspension, that'll smooth it out a bit. There it is, in front of the GT2, made by the same people. Right, so, you can lock it and unlock it, so now the scooter's locked. Comfort mode, sport mode, so there's only two modes. Uh, cruise control on, lights you can turn on and off from the air. Unit Imperial metric. Comfort mode, speed limit value, 12. Zero start, I want that on. Sport mode, speed limit value. Ah, okay. So if anyone's been wondering why you can't get this up to speed, well, I haven't ridden it yet, so we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna put that up 21 miles per hour. It's reading 20 miles per hour. Right, let's get you charged up. See you on the road. And I'm on the iScooter i9 Max, which is like the third iteration of the iScooter i9. I haven't tried the i9 Pro, but I've tried the i9. The i9, 350 watts, uh, no suspension. i9 Pro, same, but with suspension. i9 Max, with suspension, but with uh, 500 watts, sorry. Uh, right, let's try and go off a mode. Oh, I hate it when the button's in there in the middle. Okay, now in mode two. Okay, not bad up the hill. There doesn't seem to be that much space on this uh, platform. It's not the right word. Deck. Put that up. Hello, hello, hello. 14, 15, 16. Right, it is definitely still pulling. 17, 18. It's halting 18. To be fair, we did try it out. It went up to 20. So, I've got to be careful because it's a bit wet today. I bet you love this, don't you? Welcome to the EVRC, where it's another grey day in England. It feels quite nippy compared to, say, the, uh, the Antwi that we had last, last time. That was a similar sized e-scooter, commuter type scooter. One you might fold up and put under your desk. That one did look awesome with its awesome lights. This don't look bad, but it just doesn't have any groovy lights. Feels pretty good, feels pretty comfortable at the moment, but the roads, this road's fairly smooth. It's quite a nice road, you could skateboard on this road. The real test is going to be when we get onto the canal path, where it gets a bit bumpy. I like the, um, the display, the display looks nice. No one coming from behind. Coming from that way. Let's get on. I would like these kind of scooters to allow you to put your foot on the rear mud guard. Like some scooters give you as a, like a foot rest, but you're not meant to do it on these. I would like that little bit more room. Let's talk about the brakes. The brakes, the rear disc brake, which I mentioned earlier. The front, it is front wheel drive, as we also found out earlier. And therefore the dual brake system involves an electronic brake on the front wheel. Now, I am noticing compared to the Antwi, it brakes a lot smoother than that does. 
Whoa, that's pretty quick. Woo! Gotta be careful on these uh, wet leaves. So no sudden uh, turning. Right, here's our first bump. That feels, it went over it really well, actually. Not air-filled tyres, although, oh, bit of cruise control, bit, bit dangerous when it gets a bit slippy. Yeah, it talks about the PSI and how it's puncture resistant and all that on the uh, on the website, but they are honeycomb, non-air-filled tyres, therefore, they aren't going to get punctured, which is nice because you don't have to worry about punctures. But also, they don't really have a PSI either because they don't have air in it, so I don't know what they're on about. This does feel faster compared to the other types of this scooter. You can tell it's a few more watts. I haven't looked at the controller, I'm not, I'm not sure what it peaks at. Small bumps now. Whoa, whoa. Not bad, not bad. Really, this kind of scooter is going to be going around towns and cities. Look, it's, <laughs> it's not an off-road scooter. IP54 water resistance, so as with most of these things, you can go through light rain and a bit of heavy rain. Just don't take it through uh, swimming pools and ponds. It's a nice speed, this. Ooh, just got hit in the head. Bit of off road. Is it struggling? Feels like it might be struggling, is it? I can't tell, it's going 12 now. So it does it down here. Oh, it's a bit slidey. I'm not sure how much I trust the tyres in the wet. I don't really want to push it though. 13. I'll probably say it's nice to have the extra power. It's nice to be able to go at 20 miles an hour compared to the 15.5 of the usual ones but I still maintain if you're commuting on one of these this speed is fine about 15 miles an hour Ooh. right let's see if the bell works oh no brake no brake on there there we go it works they, they moved Excellent. Thank you. They were like, yeah, whatever, yeah. You hooligan. Oh, got a duck again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not as stable on these as some of the other ones. Thin tyres, tall uh, handlebars. It would be nice to be able to lower them. The lower they are, well, not really by your feet, but like a bit lower, you get a bit more stability. You're not meant to be racing people on this. But it is nice to get, oh. Well, I did all right up there. Am I down a battery bar? I can't tell. Was it on, were there five bars? I'm going pretty fast now for this kind of thing. 17, 16. It's definitely a lot more comfortable than the original i9. Same tires, although you can get the i9 with um, pneumatic tyres now but with the suspension it really kind of smooths out the ride quite a bit this one's 399 I believe the i9 can be had for about 299 I would say £100 for that extra bit of comfort depends what you're going to do if you know you're going to go over bumpy sections cheers then it's probably worth it but if you know that you're just going to be going through towns, flat, nice surfaces, then you don't really need it. Are we still right there? Now, it's not exactly punchy. I wouldn't say this is punchy, this uh, scooter. Although it's got 500 watts and it says you can go 22 miles an hour. It's fast for this type of thing, but it's not like it doesn't zoom you up to speed. And I haven't seen much over 20, although it says it can do 22. In fact, when I was on, yeah, going up curves like that, it's quite nice. When I was on, when I was in my house and I did the freewheeling, it only got to 20, didn't it? It didn't get to 22. 
and that's with no weight on it. So with my weight on it, obviously it's not going to do quite that much, but I'm seeing. I'm pretty sure the i9 did take me though to. Oh, hello. Thank you. But I'm pretty sure the i9 did get me up to 19. The range of this is meant to be 20 miles. I got to 19 then. Obviously, it does struggle with me. I'm a bit heavy. A bit of grass. That's fine. Oh, I should put a light on, shouldn't I, really? The brake, I do like the brakes, you know. There we go. Wish there was a bit more room on the deck. Now, don't get me wrong. There is enough, really. I just like a bit more. Suspension. I'm very impressed with the suspension. It's really, really quite... Nice, I can kind of jump on it. <laughs> Whee! Oh, bunny hops, man. Right, let's go. Seven. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. It's pretty flat. Fourteen. Fifteen. Do I see sixteen? Sixteen. Ooh. 16, here's me dad, I'm going to say hello, see ya, let's go, thumbnail time, wow, tell you what, it's a nice, it's a nice comfortable scooter, this light, I'm not seeing that much on the floor, as with most these things it's more for uh, other people to see me rather than for me to go down dark alleys it's quite nice though nothing rattling sometimes the uh, controller or the battery can be a bit rattly inside this this does not feel like that it feels nice it just feels like a solidly built commuter scooter that goes at a decent speed Remember that range, 20 miles, will not be for sport mode going 20 miles per hour. Not that this is going 20 miles per hour with me on it. And with zero spot start, because that obviously eats into the battery. 20 miles will be eco mode, 70 kilogram rider, push to start, not zero start. All that stuff. It is really cold as well, by the way. And that eats into the battery. I feel like I'm always saying that because obviously I'm in uh, England. I'm going to go back onto the uh, the canal path to see what it is like in the dark because then I've got my nighttime footage sorted. Yeah, let's have a quick look at it in the dark. You see the lights? There's four LEDs. Red light on the back. You'll be able to see the bright light working. So it's not really an extra light, it just makes it flash. Right, is it going to get me up here? It feels like it's struggling a bit. 10 miles an hour. I'm either the wrong person to check, test these scooters or I'm the right person to test these scooters because either I make them, I make them look bad because I'm heavy but also people get an impression of how they perform if you are a bit heavier so I suppose for you lot I'm the right person for the manufacturers I'm the wrong person but uh, manufacturers feel free to keep sending them if they make if you make good scooters then they'll look good I do like this so you've been watching the EVRC this is the iScooter i9 max and at the moment I'm fairly impressed feels nice could do have been a bit more powerful maybe I'm going up a bit of a hill now 10 miles an hour
let's just see how fast I can get on the last straight. I'll send all my goodbyes. By the way, I'm wearing the Nobleman Tech TKO2 helmet again. My last video, I compare it to an AliExpress cheapo copy. So if you want to know the difference between this helmet and a much cheaper helmet, then do check out that last video. I'll leave a link somewhere. But I'm, I am loving this helmet so far, so uh, go and check them out. There's a link below to Nobleman Man Tech website that makes some cool stuff. So, um, this isn't looking good. I'm down to three bars. I'm going 12 miles an hour. So already, 13. It's quite down on what it was getting. There's your voltage sag. Yeah, I'm going a bit slow now. I'm not going stupid slow, like I have done on, in previous scooters, but not the fastest. Right, battery's registering at 60%, which matches up with the bars. Three bars, 20% each. Done about nearly five miles. It looks like that this scooter really, if you're a bit heavy um, and you use all the max speed, zero start, normal rider, you, you're getting about 10, 11, which is obviously about half what they say for 20. But with all the max stuff, that's not too bad. So that's it anyway. If you found that useful, and if you want to see more of the Ice Scooter i9. Max or other ice or oh god other scooters that was weird you know sometimes the brake doesn't cut off the accelerator and it kind of carries on anyway yeah remember loads of scooters e-bikes especially e-bikes e-skateboard EUC uh, content on the channel don't forget to subscribe if you like that kind of thing until next time ride safe <laughs>